click file, click open, and go into your mobile disk toolbox. And last time we used the heal tool uh, with the girl's face and her tattoo. I'll open that up. That's a good one to use uh, because if you zoom in, um, you can actually find that there are some things we can correct. Okay, so um, you can look for little glitches that you can fix and. The first thing we have to consider is the size of our brush. Uh, it's a bit too big here, so if we want a size brush that will allow us to uh, smudge properly. So we'll get rid of these marks. Um, so the smudge tool is like using your finger uh, while you do pastels. You click outside the mark and you pull in from the surroundings. What do you notice? It basically brings the color from the surroundings in, and if you do it carefully, and you will get rid of some of those marks. So you can basically um, help repair some of the blemishes in this girl's face. These could be scars, or birthmarks, or pimples. Um, just move around, try to find things to fix. Now, you have to be patient using the smudge because uh, as you're clicking and dragging, you have to pull in the color from outside the blemish inwards to cover it up. Okay, and so you'll notice I'm clicking multiple directions surrounding uh, little imperfections to fix it up. Okay, you don't want to just go back and forth like that. I end up getting a spot that looks a little bit too different than the surrounding area. Okay. So I'm going to move on to the tattoo part, which is probably the hardest part. And uh, again, choosing the right size of brush will help get good results. You don't want one that's too big or too small. And you might also affect the opacity. Uh, you don't necessarily want the effect to be too intense. You might want to have a little bit more control over it. Try different settings. Um, there's no ideal setting, but you just experiment. Happy, just go edit, undo, and you can cancel. Okay, so I'll I'll try it now. I'll pull in from the side, and it's just gradually fading it out. But I want to try a thicker, like a higher opacity to have it more powerful. But again, be necessarily 100% because then you might get into um, color patches of colors that might not actually match up your um, match the surrounding colors too well. So you know you want to play around with that. So I'm pulling in colors from the outside and bringing it inwards. If you do way, if you pull the color from the inside and pull it outwards, that's not the effect you want, right? Or you're pulling the color setting outwards. We'll undo that. In the last couple of changes, because that was just showing you what happens if you do it the other way. Okay. So you can kind of see that. It's a very slow and um, labor-intensive process. Okay, and this area is a bit tricky because it's surrounded by blue and red. Okay, now how is this different than, uh, or does this tool replace the heal tool? Well, they do similar things, and from experience, you might find that one tool gives better results than the other. They're not the same, right? This one you're smudging colors from the outside. The other one, if you remember, was the tool and that one required that you have an area of skin that you press in one sample and then you click over and you apply that skin tone. 
Okay, in a, uh, in an ideal world, you might actually want to try both of these techniques. Maybe use the smudge tool to give you um, to get rid of, to get rid of one color, and then. And then maybe using the heel tool after to get rid of more. Okay, control and sample. Okay, but I would say both tools have their advantages, disadvantages, and how you choose to use them and which situations you use them will determine whether or not you're successful. Okay, so I've softened quite a bit out, but I'm going to switch back to the smudge tool, which is the one I was using earlier, and I'll continue trying to fix it. Okay, and I think what we've just noticed is that for big flaws or big things like this, where you're trying to fix a big area, uh, maybe the smudge tool may not be the best. Okay. But again, uh, you try the combinations of the tools we've learned. Try different settings of opacity and brush sizes, and uh, see which ones give you the best result. Okay, there's no size fits all, and sometimes you just have to use all the different tools at your disposal to. Get the best result. I'm going to zoom out and just see what this looks like. It's not, uh, I doubt it's perfect. It's, yeah, it's still, there's still a bit of a mark there. But we haven't finished yet, but I would basically just spend more time slowly just going over that area, sampling and applying either the uh, smudge tool or the heel tool, and eventually, um, if you have a patience and time, you will be able to remove the majority. We were able to fix the small flaws here and there using the smudge tool, but the larger one was a bit more difficult. But again, uh, your job today is just to try the tool out and see how it works, get used to it. And then move on to the next exercise.